everyone welcome to pediatrics by dr anand this is the an academy neat pg platform and today's topic of choice is nothing but our one of the very good topic the topic is nothing but our inborn errors of metabolism part 2 i hope my voice is audible to everyone if my voice is audible to everyone please put a message in the comment section thank you this is a very beautiful neat pg platform an academy and uh, the every single i mean uh, uh, every single topic has been explained in a very beautiful way i will start the session if you could please tell me if my voice is audible to everyone then i will start the session thank you so much the, uh, this platform is amazing where we have beautiful topics incorporated in a very wonderful manner my name is dr anand i'm md pediatrics i've done my sr ship from lady hardy medical college and hindura medical college and here i am explaining you the whole an academy pediatrics topic basically so yes uh, starting with the first of all we have this neat pg combat if you are a newcomer we have this exam we have this test of the neat pg all india mock test happening on on feb 26 at 9 am feb 26 9 am we have this test you must participate it will be really helpful for you also at the same time we have this beautiful introducing notes for the neat pg very beautiful notes 19 subjects all the subjects notes are there they are free with one year of plus subscription which is only valid for little time because the price is hiking very soon these are the durations these are the prices and this is after the discount if you want you can you can, you can use the code what is the code the code here is dr anand because as mbbs student sometime it becomes difficult to buy a big pack so this will be little financially the best feasible financial benefit for you dr anand is the code. also in the an academy we have something known as plus subscription where you get to study from the best educators where we have lot of live test and quizzes where you have around 25000 mcqs and also you can study on your ios on your laptop on all the devices and also then we you, you know you get the access to the live and recorded classes this is the plus subscription in the iconic subscription what do you have in the iconic subscription you have the an academy platform and the prep ladder subscription also all the clinical notes treasure hunts question bank everything you have okay congratulations to the amazing fmg toppers who have worked so hard and they deserve to be at this position and now it's your turn shagufta kirti or sama your turn to be there to do the best of the best okay and also we have a series surgery test series biochemistry test series grand test fmg series you must give all those series if you are new to an academy channel this is the like you can download the an academy app in the an academy app there is something known as special class where make we make amazing mcqs poll you can ask me any doubt you have a proper synchronized manner of the classes conducted so it's really good and also the batches we have made is previous year question batch we have for neat pg we have the fmg 2022 batch from march 2nd and also we have the 9 months full comprehensive batch also and as the next is coming we have this amazing beautiful batch going on which is super duper full almost please join asap with the next 2023 batch and we have this batch of all educators revision batch where i'll be taking your revision classes then self study you will do then i'll take another test then solution discussion see it's as simple as that so join any one of these it will be helpful for you today's topic of choice today's topic of choice will be something known as disorders of amino acid metabolism now remember inborn errors of metabolism was one of the most awaited topic by everyone in the first half of the inborn errors of metabolism we did something known as white matter disease and gray matter disease and in that one disease we took out that was nothing but yesterday wilson disease for one beautiful hour yesterday evening 9:30 8:30 pm we did wilson disease if you are a newcomer later you must watch that video you will really like it and today's topic of choice will be disorders of amino acid metabolism disorders of amino acid metabolism okay before starting any amazing topic we always have a motivating quote and today's motivating quote is no one is you no one is you and that is your power no one is you no one is you no one is you and that is your power so you are amazing you are unique you are beautiful you are amazing just just crazily awesome and super fantastic you are so you are you hum hum hai baki pani kam hai theek hai so you is amazing so no one is you and that is your power that is your power think the way you want to think lead the nation the way you want to lead read and study and revise the way you want to revise because no one is you and that is your power okay so that's it let's start the beautiful segment of nothing but disorders of amino acid metabolism and this is kind of a kind of a oral test it's like a revision class going on okay amino acids can anyone tell me some amino acids name some various amino acids who will tell anyone 
name some various amino acids have you heard of any uh, what you call shagupta kirti it's a it's a oral discussion okay we have essential amino acids and we have non-essential amino acids have you heard the name so in the amino acid we have essential and non-essential amino acids and any any idea of the essential amino acids shagupta kirti what do you think have you heard the name ek example bata do mujhe essential amino acid ka very good very good so we have a mnemonic right for essential amino acid we have a mnemonic that is private time hall aur bahut sare mat will fly private time hall bahut sare lot of mnemonics are there yeah very good this is so beautiful shagupta and ragini kirti so so wonderful you are answering so yes the i'll repeat again we are studying disorders of amino acid metabolism there are various types of amino acid we have essential amino acids and non essential amino acids essential the examples are private tim hall nothing but very importantly phenyl alanine valine and tryptophan that is private 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 time hall okay very importantly yes that's true and uh, what is till 8 pm you're asking uh, this one uh, kya naam hai um, ragini yeah exactly yeah so phenyl alanine valine tryptophan private time time for threonine isoleucine and methionine threonine isoleucine and methionine and hall hall is nothing but histidine arginine lysine and leucine right very good so so beautiful shagupta parveen is answering so it's a revision class it's a oral class neat which is just the corner let's finish this topic i am se pakka questions aate hain hamesha so yes very importantly we are studying disorders of amino acid metabolism various amino acids we have we have essential amino acids and non essential amino acids in the essential amino acid basically we have something known as private time hall private p for phenyl alanine valine and tryptophan private time hall threonine isoleucine and methionine and histidine arginine lysine and leucine okay private time hall this are the important essential amino acids okay in those am uh, essential amino acids which is the most important one which we should study for exam the answer is phenyl alanine phenyl alanine is the most important what you call essential amino acid which you should know and what happens anyone in phenyl alanine uh, do we know the conversion of this one do you remember that phenyl alanine gets converted into tyrosine yes or no to know the problem with the phenyl alanine we should know the problem like this normal cycle normally now listen very carefully very carefully फिनाइल एलेनिन नॉर्मली फिनाइल एलेनिन गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू टायरोसिन गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू टायरोसिन विद द हेल्प ऑफ फिनाइल एलेनिन हाइड्रोक्सिलेस फिनाइल एलेनिन hydroxyl now this is one reaction we need to understand that only will cover the whole topic okay i'll repeat again what are we studying in bone errors of metabolism which sub topic disorders of amino acid metabolism name some amino acids sir essential non essential which is the important essential phenyl alanine what does phenyl alanine does sir phenyl alanine basically it converts uh, like phenyl alanine gets converted into tyrosine with the help of phenyl alanine hydroxylase okay so what happens in a case of very important in disorders of phenyl alanine metabolism there is deficiency of the enzyme there is deficiency of the enzyme phenyl एलेनिन हाइड्रोक्सिलेस आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग या एग्जैक्टली वेरी गुड कीर्ति पाठक इज सो ब्यूटीफुल आंसरिंग सो वेल कीर्ति सेज दैट फिनाइल एलेनिन हाइड्रोक्सिलेस एंजाइम गेट्स हेम्पर्ड येस दर इज अ डेफिशियंसी ऑफ द एंजाइम फिनाइल एलेनिन हाइड्रोक्सिलेस दैट इज द फर्स्ट पी जी क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द एंजाइम डिफेक्ट यू हैव इन फिनाइल कीटोन यूरिया और फिनाइल प्रॉब्लम और इन द अमाइनो एसिड प्रॉब्लम देर इज डेफिशियंसी ऑफ द एंजाइम फिनाइल एलेनिन हाइड्रोक्सिलेस नंबर वन सो वॉट विल हैपन so what what about the levels of phenyl alanine will you have the will the level of phenyl alanine increase or will the level of phenyl alanine will decrease so you all know that that phenyl alanine is not able to convert get converted into tyrosine so more and more more and more more and more phenyl alanine level will increase and tyrosine level will decrease yes or no of course very good ragini kirti vasha gupta very beautiful see so good you're answering very good that's what so that's what so phenyl alanine levels will increase and tyrosine level will decrease because there's a deficiency of enzyme of phenyl alanine hydroxylase in a case of phenyl ketone urea so aage kya hoga sir so what will happen next sir if phenyl alanine level increases what will happen so increase level of phenyl alanines and decrease level of 
tyrosine yes or no so now what will happen the metabolism the metabolism shifted to the alternate pathway see this metabolism is not working where the phenyl alanine should get converted into tyrosine now phenyl alanine will convert into various other metabolites which are harmful for the body phenyl alanine basically will get converted into various other metabolites which are harmful to the body so means there is a the the metabolism has shifted to the alternate pathway yes or no the metabolism has shifted to the alternative pathway or what is that alternative pathway basically that's what there is increased concentration there is increased concentration of phenyl alanine and its and its metabolites yes or no is this line true or is this line false are you connecting with me yes or no exactly so good yeah very good so what will happen there will be increased concentration of phenyl alanine and its metabolites and it, uh, metabolites which are harmful which are harmful which are those metabolites sir phenyl pyruvate and phenyl acetic acid acetic acid acetone nothing but ketones ketones are you understanding yes or no so that's what so phenyl alanine levels will increase and these phenyl alanine levels basically increase and its metabolites also like alternate pathway will form and the phenyl and the, the other metabolites are phenyl pyruvate phenyl acetic acid nothing but acetones or ketones and that only we are discussing about phenyl ketone urea i will see in my urine phenyl ketones phenyl acetone are you understanding yes or no this acetone acetate is is bad is bad for my body okay that you should know okay very good yes very very true yeah next question will it cause cns damage yes or no what do you think if so much of what you called uh, uh, increased concentration of phenyl alanine and its metabolites is there will this cause cns damage so i think every one of you will say yes but the answer is no like the increased concentration of phenyl l they see there will be cns damage there will be cns damage but not because of increased concentration of phenyl alanine the cns damage is not because of these please remember the elevated phenyl alanine levels there is elevated no this one yes or no there is the uh, there is the phenyl alanine levels is elevated right because this enzyme is deficient so let's let's read this line properly the elevated phenyl alanine levels in the brain tissue they cause inhibition of the cerebral uptake of the other neutral amino acids such as tyrosine or tryptophan i'll repeat again matlab phenyl alanine it will be in simple layman words phenyl alanine levels phenyl alanine presence will be so much that it will not allow any anyone else to do the participation that's what the it says the elevated phenyl alanine levels in the brain tissue causes inhibition of the cerebral uptake of the other neutral amino acids and that is the cause of cms damage and this will cause the cns damage that you should know okay so cns damage is because of tyrosine and tryptophan and other neutral amino acids not able to get the uptake not not able to get uptake in the brain tissue okay so i'll repeat again the last line the elevated phenyl alanine levels which were there in the brain tissue it causes inhibition of the cerebral uptake of the other neutral amino acids when this other neutral amino acids uptake cerebral uptake in the brain tissue will not take place that is caused the brain damage not because of elevated phenyl alanine levels like indirectly it is but directly the cause is the is because of others okay that you should know yes pg entrance question number 4 pg entrance question number 4 yeah now this is the exam question let's see if you can answer so the question is which is the main organ which is the main organ which gets damaged basically in a case of phenyl ketone urea who will tell me which is the main organ which is the main organ kon batayega anyone anyone the options are kidney brain liver git adrenals what do you think which is the main organ damaged by phenyl ketone urea so can we appreciate what are we studying phenyl ketone urea phenyl alanine normally gets converted into tyrosine but this enzyme deficiency is there so phenyl alanine will not be able to get converted leading to phenyl uh, alanine and its metabolites accumulation leading to phenyl ketone urea so which is the main organ पानी दे दो पानी पानी yes so which is the main organ very very beautiful the best answer has been given by anyone yes the answer is brain very good the main organ to get damaged in the phenyl ketone urea is nothing but cns damage nothing but the brain theek okay? hai nothing but the brain that you should know very good bhagwant very good very good shugupta hriday ragini very beautifully told and see let's link and study 
the main organ to get damaged in phenyl ketone urea is brain the main organ uh, involved in congenital tb is anyone which is the main organ involved in congenital tb any random guesses kirti pathak yes exactly exactly very true kirti very right so which is the main see two questions one answer the main organ getting damaged in phenyl ketone urea is nothing but the brain okay and the main organ what you called involved in congenital tuberculosis which is that main organ so in the morning class also we had done that right the answer is nothing but our liver 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 do you remember yes or no liver is the best answer <clears throat> liver is the best answer because in the morning mcq session you might have attended waha par bhi a question aaya tha the most common organ involved in congenital tb is nothing but very importantly what you called is the liver and the most common what you called da organ damaged by phenyl ketone urea is nothing but our brain nothing but our brain that you should know okay let's move further that's it so these all conditions will lead to phenyl ketone urea has everyone understood this much put a like button if you have understood samajh mein aa raha hai ki nahi aa raha full full biceps ke mere pure aise tight rakhe hain biceps haan ji very good so that's what so yes very beautiful it leads to phenyl ketone urea nothing but phenyl alanine and its metabolites are now in my urine and are everywhere okay now clinical features so yeah and also what is the inheritance for this condition it is a autosomal recessive inheritance okay hriday a a shagufta and a again it's a autosomal recessive it is a autosomal recessive inheritance that also you should know okay next very important yeah clinical features who will tell me if there is no imagine okay see it's very easy first think if there is lot of phenyl alanine in my brains what will i have will i have developmental delay will i have some micro or macro cephaly what do you think anyone anyone yes very good so the most important first manifestation we have is this again a very important clinical question what is this what is this is this a micro cephaly or is this a macro cephaly who will tell me माइक्रो के फैली जैसा दिख रहा है कि मैक्रो के फैली जैसा दिख रहा है एग्जैक्टली इट विल लीड टू माइक्रो माइक्रो के फैली व्हाट्स अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ माइक्रो के फैली एनी वन विपिन राज शगुप्ता रागिनी हृदय कीर्ति पाठक सो हेड सर्क यस वेरी गुड हेड सर्क फ्रेंड्स लेस देन माइनस थ्री स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन for the for the mean of the age and sex for the respective age and sex so when the head circumference is less than minus 3 standard deviation that is known as microcephaly what is macrocephaly macrocephaly is head circumference more than 2 more than 2 standard deviation are you understanding very good then the patient will have microcephaly number 1 number 2 the patient will be very irritable the patient will be very irritable he will be having little posturing little posturing will he will be having posturing if i talk about yes the patient can have seizures also so seizures i have three question which is the most question number 1 question number 2 question number 3 let's three fast 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 let me let's let's try the answers which is the most commonest type which is the most commonest type of newborn having seizure anyone which is the most commonest type of newborn baby having seizure who will tell me yes next question which is the most commonest type of uh, seizure seen in children that who will tell me and which is the most commonest cause of which is the most commonest cause of neonatal seizures yes the most commonest type of neonatal seizure is subtle yes very true and the most commonest cause of seizure in children is because of high fever that is febrile seizures are you understanding the most commonest cause of seizures in a newborn the cause the type will be subtle the most commonest one is the subtle and the uh, in of a child having seizure the most commonest cause will be febrile and which is the most commonest cause of seizure at day 1 of life like a newborn baby having seizure a newborn baby having seizure manoj says hypoglycemia no the answer is hypoxia very 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 important hypoxia if a baby has not like the the newborn baby having seizure the most commonest cause will be hypoxia but type will be our what do you call subtle seizures a child having a seizure the most commonest cause will be febrile 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 seizures that you should know yeah very good very good shagupta a hriday osama very good osama says sorry for the late reply kyu late aaye kaise aaye kaise tum late idhar aao tum idhar aao पनिशमेंट नहीं 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 पनिशमेंट तो मिलेगी व्हाट इज अ पनिशमेंट पनिशमेंट ये है जब दिल्ली आओगे तो एक अच्छी सी हक दे देना बस 
ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द पेशेंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली द पेशेंट विल बी नॉर्मल एट बर्थ एंड द पेशेंट विल लेटर हैव मेंटल रिटार्डेशन व्हिच इज नाउ नोन एज इंटेलेक्चुअल डिसेबिलिटी यस और नो सो अगेन डोंट क्रैम प्लीज डोंट क्रैम व्हाट आर वी स्टडिंग वेट व्हाट आर वी व्हाट व्हिच टॉपिक आर यू व्हिच टॉपिक आर यू स्टडिंग वी आर स्टडिंग इनबोर्न एरर्स ऑफ मेटाबॉलिज्म पार्ट टू वट इज द सब टॉपिक द सब टॉपिक विच यू आर टेलिंग वट इज द नेम ऑफ सब टॉपिक कुछ कुछ बच्चे तो बोलते बोलते नाम भी भूल जाते हैं वी आर स्टडिंग फिनाइल कीटोन यूरिया फिनाइल कीटोन वी आर स्टडिंग डिसऑर्डर्स ऑफ अमाइनो एसिड मेटाबॉलिज्म इन द अमाइनो एसिड मेटाबॉलिज्म वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट फिनाइल एलिनिन विच लीड्स टू फिनाइल कीटोन यूरिया राइट वेरी गुड दैट यू शुड नो ठीक है ओके बॉडी ओके सो अच्छा मस्जिद गए दैट्स गुड मेरी मेरी लंबी उम्र की कामना करने That is very sweet, very good. So that's it. So the patient will have intellectual disability. The patient can have vomiting. Very important. Yes. Now that is a PG entrance question number six. What kind of hair? What kind of hair will you see in a case of our this one penile ketone urea? Pradeep, Shagupta, what do you think? किस तरह के बाल होते हैं बच्चे के अंदर कौन बताएगा एनी वन येस द हेयर बेसिकली इट्स एन एग्जाम क्वेश्चन यू विल हैव ब्लॉन्ड हेयर यू विल हैव ब्लॉन्ड हेयर दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट ओके गोल्डन हेयर और ब्लॉन्ड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ब्लॉन्ड हेयर नंबर वन नंबर टू दैट्स बट येलोइज डिसकलरेशन येलोइज डिसकलरेशन बेसिकली ऑफ द हेयर यू हैव एंड दैट इज नथिंग बट ब्लॉन्ड हेयर ओके वेरी गुड नेक्स्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द पेशेंट विल हैव अ ब्लू आयरिस ब्लू आयरिस ब्लू ओके लेट मी आस्क यू क्वेश्चन ओके क्या पूछ मैं हम्म डाउन सिंड्रोम में डाउन सिंड्रोम में किस तरह का आयरिस होता है एंड विलियम सिंड्रोम में विलियम सिंड्रोम में किस तरह का आयरिस होता है नीट की तैयारी कर रहे हैं नीट की तैयारी कर रहे हो नीट की तैयारी बताओ ठीक है सो थ्री आयरिस लेट्स कवर इट अप ब्लू आयरिस इज सीन इन वॉट यू कॉल्ड ब्लॉन्ड हेयर विद ब्लू आयरिस इज सीन इन वॉट यू कॉल्ड आवर इज फिनाइल किटोन यूरिया इन डाउन सिंड्रोम वट काइंड ऑफ आयरिस यू विल सी यू विल सी ब्रश फील्ड स्पॉट ब्रश फील्ड स्पॉट्स ब्रश फील्ड स्पॉट इन द आयरिस ब्रश फील्ड स्पॉट इन द आयरिस एंड वट अबाउट विलियम सिंड्रोम वट काइंड ऑफ दिसन विलियम सिंड्रोम स्टारी बर्स्ट चांद जैसे चमक रहा होता है स्टारी बर्स्ट आयरिस स्टारी बर्स्ट आयरिस दैट यू शो नो सो ब्रश फील्ड स्पॉट्स इन आयरिस इन डाउन स्टारी बर्स्ट आयरिस इन अपना विलियम एंड ब्लू आयरिस इज नथिंग बट ब्लूश आयरिस इज नथिंग बट इट आवर फिनाइल किटन यूरिया ब्रश फेड नहीं ब्रश फील्ड बी आर यू एस एच ब्रश एफ आई ई एल टी ब्रश फील्ड एंड वेर डू यू सी हेटीरोक्रोमा आयरेडिस एनी वन वेर डू यू सी हेटीरोक्रोमा आयरेडिस हु विल टेल मी हेटीरोक्रोमा आयरेडिस कहाँ मिलता है एनी वन शगुफ्ता ए ए कीर्ति वट यू थिंक ओसामा शगुफ्ता विपिन विपी राज हेटीरोक्रोमा आयरिस कहीं नाम सुना है एक दोनों आंखों के रंग अलग अलग होते हैं दिस आई कलर इज डिफरेंट एंड दिस आई कलर इज डिफरेंट सो हु विल टेल मी वेर डू यू सी हेटीरोक्रोमा आयरिस वेरी गुड वेरी गुड शगुफ्ता ओसामा ए ए कीर्ति हृदय विपिन वेरी गुड सो हेटीरोक्रोमा आयरिस यू विल सी इन बॉर्डन बर्ग सिंड्रोम डू है रिमेंबर बॉर्डन बर्ग सिंड्रोम हॉस्टल का वार्डन वार्डन बर्ग सिंड्रोम वार्डन बर्ग सिंड्रोम ये सर नो very good so what are we studying now that this i hope this we have understood this part heterochroma iridis is seen in warden box syndrome what was the triad of warden box syndrome the warden box syndrome the triad was heterochroma iridis bunch of the white hairs in the up in the front basically and hearing loss hearing loss okay that's it next question the patient will have blonde hair yellowish discoloration of the hair basically blue iris fair skin very important and very good very that's another so important so important pg entrance question number 7 where do you see mousy urine mousy mousy or musty urine nothing but that's what chuhe jaisa musty not chuhe wa jaisa to mousy or musty is nothing but like a damp corner a khada kinara without any air for too long a khada kinara jahan hawa nahi aati aur pura ajeeb sa hai bahut lambe time se so very important musty order musty or mousy order you will see in phenyl ketone urea very important very important exam question okay very important exam question very good next question how do you diagnose anyone let's let's finish this topic how do you diagnose a case of phenyl ketone urea what will happen like how will there be a decreased level of phenyl alanin or increased level of phenyl alanin yes very good so that's what the 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 diagnosis will have is ferric chloride test anyone how do you do ferric chloride test who will tell me 
हाउ डू यू डू फेरिक क्लोराइड टेस्ट कैसे करते हैं very good perfect so number one you take a test tube you take a test tube in that test test tube you add something what do you add 5 ml of urine and 3 to 4 drops of ferric chloride very important remember yeah exactly manoj choudhary so right how do you do ferric chloride test yes very good so what will you take you will take 5 ml of urine 5 ml of urine and 3 to 4 drops 3 to 4 drops of ferric chloride 3 to 4 drops of ferric chloride and what will happen basically if i have see what what are we studying phenyl ketone urea right if my urine has phenyl ketones phenyl pyruvate phenyl acetic acid if my urine has phenyl ketones my color will change to green the color will change to green yes are you understanding so 5 ml of urine and 3 to 4 drops of ferric chloride what will happen if there is a change in the green color that indicates what that indicates means there is presence of phenyl pyruvate in the baby and nothing but that is diagnostic like for the uh, phenyl ketone urea and also in the case of maple syrup urine disease msud also you get this color okay very good next one and also we have a gu3 test or you can say phenyl ketone urea test or a gu3 test we have which we do it basically we take the dried blood for sample dbs card hota hai dbs card what is dbs card card dried blood spot you take a dried blood spot basically on this gu3 card or phenyl ketone urea card okay okay what's the treatment anyone what's the treatment when there is so much of phenyl alanine in my body and there is so much of lysotyrosine is in my body how do you want to treat anyone i think everyone can tell it will, will you will you decrease my phenyl alanine diet or no or no the answer is yes you will give me a low phenyl alanine diet number 1 number 2 of course adequate intake intake of tyrosine because tyrosine also deficiency is there and also ceproptorin hydrochloride this is again, again another star mark important exam question ceproptorin hydrochloride ceproptorin hydrochloride is something which we use as the treatment for this one okay that you should know okay did you understand yes or no we have covered the one half the second half is menke disease has everyone understood this much yes or yes yes what is samajh mein aaya ki nahi aaya manoj hmm yes and also now coming to the next topic the next is nothing but menke disease okay so yeah again a motivating quote mistakes are a proof mistakes are a proof that you are trying so it's okay to do mistakes it's okay to commit problems it's okay to say ki mujhe nahi aata it's okay to give the wrong answer it's okay to write the wrong answer but mistakes are a proof mistakes are a proof that you are trying that you are trying so, so please everyone so beautifully we are covering inborn errors of part 1 in the part 1 we did wilson disease number 1 now in the part 2 i have we did phenyl ketone urea small 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 i'll take the session so that you can cover the whole topic now coming to the menke disease now who will tell me we have do you remember right we have something known as white matter disease and something known as gray matter disease white kahan pe hota hai anyone where is the white if this is my uh, what you call brain diagram where is the white so if these are the sulci and gyrus basically is in inside or outside what is, is this the white matter or this the white matter who will tell me which is the white matter the inside or the outside so so the purity is inside right so white matter is inside and gray matter is outside yes very good hrida is right that's what so that's it so this is our white matter and this is our gray matter now tell me who will tell me hrida name some white matter disease yesterday class mein kiya tha aapne name some white matter disease anyone name some white matter disease any 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 random cases this uh, what about metachromatic leukodystrophy this canavan disease crabe disease metachromatic leukodystrophy all these are what these all are white matter disease number one crabe disease number 2 alexander disease number 3 canavan disease and number 4 is metachromatic leukodystrophy so so very importantly k a c n yesterday also i told you khan so crabe uh, disease alexander disease canavan disease and metachromatic leukodystrophy theek hai 
हाँ मेटा क्रोमेटिक ल्यूको डिस्ट्रॉफी दीज आर दीज आर द वाइट मैटर वाइट मैटर डिजीज एंड नेम सम ग्रे मैटर एनी वन विच इज द ग्रे मैटर दिस वन इन साइड द आउटसाइड वन राइट सो नेम सम ग्रे मैटर डिजीज वॉट अबाउट एनी वन एनी वन नेम सम ग्रे मैटर डिजीज वॉट यू कॉल्ड शगुफ्ता ओसामा बीपी इज वेरी गुड सो ग्रे मैटर डिजीज वी हैव नथिंग बट मैंके डिजीज विल्सन डिजीज टेसैक्स डिजीज और लीक सिंड्रोम मैनी आर देर बट एटलीस्ट फोर यू शुड नो तो मैंके डिजीज विल्सन डिजीज लीक सिंड्रोम एंड केसैक्स डिजीज विल्सन वेरी वेरी परफेक्टली वी हैव कवर्ड only one question i will ask you how will you diagnose uh, this kf ring in a case of wilson disease how will you detect how will you detect the kf ring it's a single best answer let's see who has the best answer let's see who will give the best answer yes 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 very good very good very good perfect very nice so who will tell me yeah very good so slit lamp examination slit lamp examination is the best uh, choice for looking for kf ring that you should know now coming to menke disease menke menke so the mnemonic for this one was minky kinky the mnemonic for this disease is minky kinky because in menke disease you will see a particular uh, you know what you called uh, hair of the baby known as kinky hair kinky hair yeah minky kinky we say menke disease is kinky hair what is the gene mutation in menke's disease i think we have done this nothing but atp7a right we have something known as atp7b that you see in wilson disease atp7a atp7a is seen in menke disease menke also you yeah, have very true very true so sama menke also copper problem remember atp7a and atp7b right so it's like almost adjusting so copper metabolism issue is there in wilson also and copper metabolism issue is there in menke also okay atp 7a okay and mutation in the gene encoding the copper main same problem remember in wilson also today uh, this we, we discussed in the yesterday evening class copper copper everywhere copper copper everywhere here also it happens like that only but remember the copper levels is very much like is there like they are low in a case of brain and liver the copper levels are more are less in brain and liver but more in the enterocytes more in the intestine this in general you should know yeah very good and yes the patient can have delayed dentition will the patient have and yeah they they have they die before 3 years very very important early deaths you don't see menke patient a 20 year old with menke disease you can't don't see that they die before 30 years exactly very good very good and also more, which is the most common cause of death now who will tell this one now anyone in the in the classes which is the most common cause of death in menke disease hmm which is the most common congenital heart disease in keshan disease anyone which is the most common congenital heart in keshan disease you know right keshan disease is because of deficiency of deficiency of selenium selenium deficiency causes the disease known as keshan disease and the most common cause of death in the keshan disease is dilated cardiomyopathy Do you remember dcmp yes or no yaad hai ki nahi yaad ragini the most common the most common congenital heart in marfan syndrome is dilated cardiomyopathy and the most common cause of this one in this case in menke disease also is cardiac rupture is cardiac rupture cardiac rupture that you should know okay and also yes there is a loss of previously attained milestone again pg entrance question number 3 Uh, a a four uh, like you know a one month old baby a one and a half month old baby came with complaints of previously like uh, loss of milestone or de developmental regression ek hota hai positive regression ek hota hai negative regression to so, developmental regression in milestone so this also the one disease known as our what you called uh, menke disease menke disease also can cause nothing but this problem okay that you should know yeah okay i'll give you a toffee yeah any other syndrome with the same feature i'll give you a chocolate osama what do you think can can you tell me any one more syndrome where there is loss of previously attained milestones bahut abhi bhi padha hai humne exactly very good red syndrome also which is mecp2 gene mutation there is a there is a regression of milestone the baby was perfectly fine fine till one year of life and then there was regression that you should know okay that's it acha is it common in boys or girls okay red syndrome is common in boys or girls anyone 
so red red remember red syndrome is common in nothing but girls red syndrome is common in girls but menke disease is common in boys menke disease is common in boys that you should know okay very good osama riday shagupta very good perfect okay and also you see vermian bones is an entity known as vermian bones and multiple fractures and flaring of lip multiple fractures this patient basically will have and uh, yeah and what is this anyone this is the image based question this only is kinky hair this is nothing but kinky hair kinky hair okay kinky hair this is what the typical picture of kinky hair one more picture we have yes i'll give you maman jaunga i'll give you a toffee a samosas boy men <laughs> boy sa theek hai that's true this one what is this picture anyone if this if today is the need physi question socho aaj need ka paper hai ye wala question aaya hai the hint is this question is there and the hint is uh, menke disease now let's see who tells देखते हैं कौन बताता है शगुप्ता स्वनूप ठीक है एंड्रे रशल हेयर दैट्स ट्रू दैट्स ट्रू असामा एंड दैट्स दिस इज नथिंग बट नोन एज ट्राइको राइक्सिस नोडोसा ट्राइको राइक्सिस नोडोसा इट्स अ डिफेक्ट इन द हेयर शार्ट बेसिकली डिफेक्ट इन द हेयर शार्ट करेक्टर इज बाय थिकनिंग ऑफ द वीक पॉइंट्स thickening of the weak points and cause cause the hair to break off easily so this is a nothing but you can say defect in the hair shaft this is hair ye baal hai ye ye baal hai theek hai defect in the hair shaft that you should know and also something known as pillai torta hai something the very important pg entrance question number 10 what is the pathognomonic sign of menke disease the answer is pillai torta hai theek hai nothing but fragile hair fragile this is nothing but little you break it it will pluck off it will go off so fragile hair is known as very importantly uh, pillai torta hai theek hai and what is this loose abdominal skin loose abdomen skin anyone loose abdomen skin so this also you known as very importantly cutis lexa this is this loose abdomen skin the cutis lexa is a very important point of nothing but our uh, this one menke disease theek hai that you should know yeah that's it that finishes this part okay that finishes the whole menke disease we covered this is important cutis lexa is important and then this one pillai tortoi is important and then we have trichorhizis nodosa trichorhizis nodosa that's it so that finishes this part that finishes the iem2 part 2 i hope you have uh, understood little bit about it so now uh, wilson disease over menke over and phenyl ketone urea over three topics in three days back to back we have covered so please be there on the other topics also to clear the whole syllabus okay thank you so much everyone for the participation and before leaving we always have a motivating quote so when you are good at your job and when you get success when you are good at your job like the, in this part the thing is like like should i form, should i run behind money or should i run behind success who will tell anyone Uh, what you called yes exactly exactly vg uh, aa ragini so uh, like uh, what you called so uh, like you know when you're good at your job you know we, you will get success but do you want to run behind money or you want to run behind success what do you think anyone hriday trivedi success important hai ke paisa important hai exactly the thing is success is more important see when you are good at your job and when you get success money will come okay money will come you have to be good at your job you just have to work hard that's it okay so money will come i'll repeat again when you are good at your job when you get success money will come don't run behind money don't run behind money don't run behind behind wanted to get rich okay don't run behind money don't run behind wanting to get rich just be good at your job and once you're good at your job people are going to come to you okay so this is very important success plays a very important role money is not that important if you are good at your job success will come money will come the money is very important but success will come money will come only when you are genuinely using your brains and you are doing something in life so that's what okay that's that's very important okay yeah so asa sir out of context is savan fine yeah i spoke to him today he is perfectly fine and he is coming back he is coming back to uh, india and he is perfectly fine okay that's what thank you so much everyone for this wonderful participation have a wonderful afternoon i had tomorrow we'll start up with the classes again three more days and now i'm going to, i'm going to take back to back test i'm so sort of test dunga bahut sare so that's it thank you and uh, take care have a wonderful